Hi guys, we're back with How to Train Your Dragon. And I think again, the corrections don't work. I just, I think I understand now once, oh, look at Skylar peeing on that wagon. If people can't understand that. Yay! You're not ever going to be successful. If you're trying to mix corrections in, it's just not going to work. Oh, hang on, let me get rid of this. I don't even know how I got it out here. Tommy, probably. If you said, do you drink a lot of apple juice? No, that's, that's Lee's apple juice. Yeah, yeah, she's got to have the Mott's natural squeeze with the little pulp and stuff in it. Pigs really like stuff like that. Oh, my Angie Marie, I'm, I'm going to tell you why I suddenly appeared on your Facebook, my dear Angie Marie. I, I got a psychic vibe from you, so I was just getting ready to get another dog out, and Fiddick did a little whine, and I said, oh, time to train your dragon. So, I, you know, I want you to understand if I said I am going to correct him for chasing squirrels. I can't watch the dog 24-7. It's his hobby. That's like saying I'm going to correct a guy for playing video games. Yeah, a lot of girls have tried that. It didn't work. If you said, what did they do? The girl, the girl is them. The video game is the TV. This is them. <laughs> so what I'm using, and this is a good starter collar for all of you. Hi, Michael. Anyway, for you guys that like NASCAR, Angie Marie does a show on NASCAR on Sirius Radio, which I don't even really know what that is, Angie Marie. I, I don't understand what that means. I know people have it. I don't understand what it means. I know it's a dog star. Oh, my God. It's like, oh, my God. Does this woman know anything about my life? I do. I do. I just don't know what Sirius Radio is. I think you pay, it comes on your radio. I don't have a radio. I just listen to Lucero 24-7. Their catalog is huge. I still haven't heard every song. So I am on zero. But what I've done is safely guarded this inner concentric circle so this dog knows. It is like dancing. It's like a dance and that's why it's got a fluidity to it. His normal behavior is bouncing anyway. So. Oh, he just throws that into the... Oh, you're awful! <laughs> if you said, what do I see? Oh, I know what I need. I need sunglass videos. Because what I see is his face right there. And if you said, you know, how much trust is there between you and this dog? A lot. A lot. He knows he's right up by my face. He's, he's not going to touch my face. If you said, oh, if you said your trigger is just a hair trigger. said you're yelling at him. Yelling at him? I'm not even saying anything. It's a dance. That's why I set it to music. Okay. And he said, where's he going? Oh, he's going back to hunt for the squirrels. The squirrels are... <laughs> It's a really, really fun dog to train. Some guy from Germany put on that video where he was bouncing around. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. All right, buddy, disgusting, you know. 
If you said, what's the dog's free agency behavior? I've got a couple of really good videos. I'm going to post them for you, Angie Marie, where he was, remember those ones where he was playing with that German Shepherd? I put it all in slow-mo and they were splashing in the water and he was doing his, his free agency behavior in the water is the same as it is when he's healing. And I can get him off there from here. Oh, how awful! <laughs> it was a tragic, tragic accident. Well, he got squished. And you've got to have the flashers with this dog. And if you sit, boom! If you don't have any, if you've got the ability, and I think that's, it does come from the pager, to have this dog's hand involuntarily follow a fast movement on your part you may have tapped into that system on that dog it's 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 the ignition and if you said well peggy hill said that you're just uh activating that that physiological system in the dog with your pager and so that's why you're getting that result oh she did oh i say oh fantastic fantastic how do i get in touch with this one because that's what it's going to come down to it's it's if you said that somehow adrenaline injection when you're hitting that thing and it seems to be Angie Marie will tell you he used to just walk along no no when he was a puppy remember he was a puppy oh I'll go find that video here's a puppy with flubber in his feet remember and then he walked along normal for a little while then gravity started going away then the gravity left sit he does overstay, though. Um, <laughs> oh, he gravity's all gone. And I was very, very nice. He didn't touch me at all. And remember, he used to kind of slam into me. So, you know, if this trainer finds this disgusting, I'm sorry, it won't just walk along anymore. Anyone can see that. It's suffering some sort of gravity loss that doesn't allow it to just walk along. All right, so let me get the dumbbells, which is, in his mind, a very poor, very, very poor replacement for uh, the squirrel. In fact, let me go get his squirrel toy. He's got a squirrel toy, Angie Marie. I know, I just gave in, girl. I just gave in. It gives him something. It's his video games, basically, is what it is. It's, it's a video game, and he can't help himself. As long as they don't make a fast move. The second they, their tail, that's it, they're gone. He's like, that's it, you're asking for a squirrel. Choo. Out there. There's my pager. He's been up here on that platform. So to him, Angie Marie, and I don't recommend, I don't want you getting him this. It's just for demonstration purposes, but to him, this is a squirrel. Who cares if it has a ratty tail? It's clearly got a tail. Sure, the hair fell off, but who cares? 
and look at the bite marks. Yeah, the body and everything. If he said, what is it? Oh, it's designed to feel like a duck body to him. So to him, between the dumbbell and this, he's always going to pick this thing. All right, hang on. You said, why did you sell my hand was all tangled? I sent him with the wrong arm. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, he's awful. Oh, look at him, Angie Marie. No, he can't. He's got the hoodie thing figured out. This is what I tell him. I say, oh, he's a pretty, pretty dog. Pretty, pretty dog. All right, hang on. Let me do it one more time. I won't have my hand all tangled. You know, I, dog shows should hopefully, you know, Jesus, if there's any hope on this planet, we'll come out with the finger kick for these other every collar. We're not talking rocket science. Uh, hasn't Bluetooth been around for, you know, 20 something years? We're not talking rocket science, people. Yeah. If you said what you were trying to do, do a divining rod and pull him around, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, he's absolutely perfect. So, as you can see, he doesn't even need words anymore. What we figured out, Angie Mary, was you can use the pager for, like, uh, a language that they understand better than English. So, you know, if you, you know, you and Mike between each other have, you know, a certain vernacular that, you know, it's an inside language, you know, when you say, oh, how great, it's our neighbor. You really mean, God help us. Kill me now. Sit. If you said, what's your strategy? Try going this way. <laughs> Yay. Yep, just like his dad, Angie Marie, does a burnout. Does a burnout. I'm sorry, Skylar. Oh, I hope you saw that. Oh, I don't think you could see that part. He did a burnout. You could probably hear it. Anyway, girl, I gotta go put him up. He gets too hot. Oh, he just comes out full bore, full bore. He's actually, I gotta go back there and do a video of his track. You know, he's created a track in that little back, little pasture back there. It's all grown up except for this track that goes around that uh yeah no that passes by all the squirrel housing yeah 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 they've got a subdivision back there so you know he, he sort of patrols around waiting for one of them to fall <laughs> i'm sure you know and then he'll go back there and bark at him i hear him back there barking at him and so i mean i know what he's doing so that betty oh, he's very alert pretty pretty dog all right, Angie Marie wants to see you do it one more time so she can see the burnout. Okay. So I'm saying to myself, that strategy works better. Oh, my hands back, clawed me around. So he's sizing up his choices, what he's doing. He's sizing up his choices. But if you said, how are you getting that fast deliver? I mean, that's systemic too. I mean, he's not going to bring stuff back if you don't have a, a run to the platform as, as a standalone behavior. You know, and that's where, uh oh, ah, Betty! Grab the whole bag. Right, now he's got his dumbbell hand. Get back up there. Oh, he's awful. He takes advantage of me. 
Look at his teeth. His teeth are clacking. You know you're really tapping into something. If you said, when else does his teeth clack? Then when he has that squirrel that time, his little teeth were clacking away just like that. <laughs> And it's so fun. <laughs> Look at him. I hope you see it. It's very interesting behavior. Let me zoom in on it. Oh, he's a teeth clucker. Hang on. Watch the mouth very closely. He's not doing it right now. He's got a grip on it, though, I'll tell you that. Okay, there, there, there. It's starting. As soon as he loosens up the grip, it's involuntary. Look at it. Look at his jaw chatter. If you said when else do that, if they smell pee from a dog in heat, they do that. Or a lot of them do it after they super high brain drive. I, I don't know what else to tell you. That's the only times I've ever seen him do it. So he's operating in a, a predatory. I've somehow sort of channeled this drive. And if you said, well, what do you mean? Uh, that is just honestly acting as a pacifier for right now to let some poor squirrel live. Some poor squirrel is living because he can use that for a pacifier. Uh, he's waiting though. It's, it's when the young ones, they're stupid. They're stupid. They run. I say, I tell these things, stay up and don't go down there. And they jump in this tree and stuff. They shouldn't do that. They don't have good escape strategies. You know, but he's wired. He's wired. I mean, you can see that. He's ready to go, so he'll go with the handler. He's not going to just walk along. He's not going to just walk along. So if this person finds that disgusting, sorry. Sorry, he isn't going to just walk along. He's not going to do that. All right, now he's got the squirrel. Now watch him watch his mouth. He can't control his mouth, Angie Murray. That's what happens. His mouth now has an involuntary. If you said, well, but my God, what would happen if that was a real squirrel? Um, yeah, it, it wouldn't survive. <laughs> it's, but in, and then the people, uh, this is what people say, stuff like this. There was no blood. <laughs> its back was broken. <laughs> He's just there and say, oh, it killed the neighbor's cat was there. But there was no blood. Its back was broken. <laughs> Oh, I've got to get the squirrel away. Oh, yes. All right, girl. Anyway, he's doing good, so I don't need to worry. And I kind of got a psychic vibe from you. So I said, oh, Sunday morning, Angie Marie will be drinking her coffee. And then she'll start to feel sad. But then she'll look on Facebook and say, oh, oh he's chasing squirrels in a farm. What, would, what more would anyone want if their dog couldn't be with them? Chasing squirrels on a farm. <laughs> It's also, yeah, it's also a storybook, girly, just like your life. Love you, girl. Bye.